Hi everyone, I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about skincare. I got up this morning, started doing my makeup, and I noticed that my cheeks were starting to get a little flaky because it was so cold last night. It was about minus 20 and my skin just started getting so dry and I hadn't noticed. Apparently, I'm falling into pieces. So I thought I would talk to you guys about my skincare for uh, morning and night for the winter. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I do when I get up in the morning is usually wash my face. Um, most of the time I'll just go in with a face cloth and water because my skin doesn't deal very well with over cleansing. Um, when I cleanse all the time in the morning, it will get um, so dry that it'll start breaking out because I'm taking out a lot of the oil so it'll try to get oilier and whatever. It's a mess. So I've noticed that um, if I only cleanse my skin here and there in the morning, uh, it works a lot better. So I've been using this Foreo Day Cleanser um, with my Foreo. Um, this is a nice little device. It's got little kind of knobs on there. I don't know. It uh, exfoliates your skin and it beeps every 15 seconds so you know when to um, change the areas on your face. It takes a minute so it's actually really quick and you just put a little bit of this on there and just cleanse everywhere and it does a really good job. So when I'm not just using water I'll use this. Uh, it's a really nice cleanser, not over stripping and I've been really liking it. And it came in a kit with the night cleanser and day cleanser with the Foreo, so that was really cool. Once I'm done cleansing, I'll go in with my eye cream, and the eye cream that I have is the Kiehl's uh, Creamy Eye Treatment uh, with Avocado. This is really great. I've used this for a while. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I love this stuff. I'm on like my fourth tub and I've just ordered backup. Really, really great. Love this thing. Once I'm done with eye cream, I'll go in with oil. The oil that I use uh, for the morning is the Body Shop Vitamin E. Really good with scarring. Uh, really, really helps with uh, hydration and it just comes with a little dropper. I usually put about four drops, put it on my face and neck, and really like this. So I've been using this for a while, really like it. Next, I'll go in with a moisturizer. Usually I go for like a mattifying um, gel moisturizer because my skin is so oily. Um, I've been using this Hydra Vegetal um, 24 hour intense hydrating gel cream from Yves Rocher. Um, really nice, really, really hydrating actually, but still not oily, um, which is what I'm looking for. It smells really good, um, and I've been really liking that. Um, really great. When I'm dealing with really dry skin, I'll go in with the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This is a lifesaver. It's a really rich moisturizer. I'll usually put it just mostly on my cheeks and on my forehead. Um, if I use it too much, like too religiously, it will make me break out because it is so rich. Um, but I just really love this. It really does save my skin when I know I'll be walking somewhere or I'll be dealing with really harsh weather. Um, this really is great. It's good for um, eczema and um, it comes in really big tubs too so you can put it anywhere on your body. It's really for anywhere. Um, and I just love this. It's safe for sensitive skin and it's really, 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 really great. Do recommend you can get this at Sephora. The next products that I use um, would be used instead of my moisturizer um, and this is if I've got acne skin. So um, these are products that Brigitte gave me actually because they didn't work for her. Thanks Brigitte. Um, do appreciate it and um, these products turned out working really, really well for me. Um, this is the Murad uh, Acne Clearing Solution and this is the Murad uh, Oil Control Mattifier and these came in a kit with the cleanser as well. So you put on the clearing solution and then you put on the mattifier and it keeps my face matte all day under my makeup and it really does help uh, treating my acne. Um, I use it, the treatment, sometimes at night as well. Um, it's got 0.5% salicylic acid in it and uh, apparently my skin deals really well with that. <laughs> so yeah, really been liking these and if you haven't been able to find something um, for your acne skin, um, do recommend you try these. <laughs> so next is my nighttime routine. Um, I am a little excessive with that. I do not only double cleanse, I triple cleanse because I do wear a lot of makeup. So the first thing that I'll go in with is usually an oil. So I usually lately have been going for the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. 
really, really nice. You pump a little bit into your hands, massage it around, massage it all over your face. It makes a really big mess of everything. Uh, if you watch, I think we made a nighttime skincare routine um, about two years ago, Brid Bridget and I, and she used this. I'll link it down below. Uh, and it works really well um, and it really breaks everything up, even your um, lipstick, liquid lipstick, everything uh, takes it all away. <laughs> so I will just go in with that and then I'll take a white face cloth because it's really satisfying to see everything come off your face and just rinse everything off like that. Um, so yeah, and if I need a little more on my eyes, I'll just go in a little bit more with a little bit more product. Once I'm done with that, I'll take the simple uh, cleansing micellar water. Love this stuff, 100% holy grail. I'll take one of these things, uh, which is some cotton rounds from the brand Delon, I think. And these are from Costco, really cheap. Uh, so I'll just soak one of these uh, with this and then uh, take away everything that's on my eyes that I've missed with the oil, because usually it'll leave a little bit um, in the eye area. Um, if you're wearing especially like waterproof stuff or whatever. Um, so I'll go in with that uh, and just take off the rest of the makeup. Once I'm done with that, I'll go in with an actual cleanser. I've been using lately the Foreo Night Cleanser, so the other one that came in the kit. So a little bit of this on my wet Foreo, on my wet face, and use it for a minute. You're done. Um, really nice cleanser. It's got meteorite powder in it. I don't know what that means, but the actual cleanser is like silver with like little balls in there. It's cool. So love this. Uh, works really well. Doesn't parch my skin once again. Really, really nice. When I have um, some acne that starts to come out once again, I'll use the Murad cleanser that comes uh, with the uh, solution and the um, moisturizer and works really well. It doesn't dry out my skin, which is super surprising for an acne cleanser. Um, it usually tends to dry out your skin, but no, this is really, really nice and I really did notice a difference, so I do recommend this. Once I'm done cleansing, I'll go in with moisturizers. So the first thing is eye cream, uh, and this is the Midnight Recovery Eye from Kiehl's. Love this stuff. I do feel like it actually has reduced um, the appearance of my dark circles, and it's really, really nice. Um, it is a tad expensive. I think it's about $45 for a bottle, but I have had this since May, and I, I think it's still about half full, so you get a lot of bang for your buck. And it's hard to find an eye cream that isn't super expensive. Um, they're all around that $30, $40 range if you're looking for a really good eye cream. So I guess it's worth it. Next, I'll go in with oil. So the oil that I use is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Once again, it comes with a little dropper. Put this, uh, usually three, four drops, all over my face and my neck. And really helps with uh, moisture and just helping my skin feel nice and nourished in the morning when I get up. So, really good. Once I'm done with the oil, I'll go in with the moisturizer. The one I've been using at night for the past, I think, almost three years is the Origins High Potency Nitamins. Really nice moisturizer. It's rich, but not too greasy, and it just helps my skin feel good. <laughs> it does a really good job and I love it and it smells like oranges and it's lovely and this is a sample size. It usually comes in a tub uh, but I love this so much. Now um, for skincare other than uh, what I use to cleanse and moisturize I also use masks and scrubs. Um, I'll just mention two. Um, the mask that I use when I need really like a lot of hydration is the uh, Face Shop Real Nature face masks with avocado. I get these in Quebec when I go um, to uh, the mall in Quebec City and they have a face shop there. They have some in a lot of bigger cities. They have some in Toronto and whatever. Um, but yeah, when I go, I stock up and uh, these are really great masks. Um, they really do the job to give a really big punch of hydration and when I really, really need um, 
all that good nutrition in my skin, I'll go uh, put on one of these and then slap on my moisturizer and I'm good to go. Um, really healing and I just love these so, 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 so much. The avocado is my favorite. They have a lot of other um, ingredients for different types of uh, issues, um, but this is my favorite because moisture. The other mask that I've been using a lot lately is more for texture, which happens um, a lot when my skin is faced with different climates. So as the temperature is changing here in Canada, um, my skin's having a little trouble with that. <laughs> so I got this Origins uh, Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. Really lovely product. It's kind of, it's, it's a rose clay, so it's nice and pink and it kind of looks like calamine lotion and um, you just let that dry and it has some little exfoliating particles in there. When you rinse it off, you're also exfoliating and it really does help with my texture and it doesn't make me feel dry either. Um, so I've really been liking that. I really do recommend it. And I feel like a lot of Origins masks um, aren't as expensive as um, which you usually get at Sephora and for the amount of product that you get you don't go through this very fast so it's actually really good value in my opinion so I really do recommend any of their masks they're lovely so that's my skincare routine for this winter um, I always have a bunch of other products in my bathroom that I'm alternating I'm using different scrubs different masks but this is kind of my basic stuff and I, I say basic but I know I'm very high maintenance as far as my skin goes but I know that this is what works for me and it's important to have a good base under your makeup if you have really good skin um, it's gonna help everything look good if you can do something to make your skin look better you can feel more confident without makeup as well um, and it's just it's just nice to have good skin so I hope you enjoyed this video and I could help you um, find a good skincare routine for this winter. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.